Good morning. I'm Christy Brinkley. Stay tuned to see my fashions on The Good Day Show. <laughs> Eileen's this morning, and uh, this very lovely lady sitting to my left. I want all of you to meet Christy Brinkley. Christy's in town because she has a wonderful new sportswear line, Christy Brinkley Sportswear, and it is here at Filene's. And this lady has been on the cover of over 300 magazines, has authored articles, has, uh, you, your career is so incredibly diverse. You photographed some of the most famous boxers, ringside <laughs> seats. What haven't you done? Uh, slept in a while. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of thing must be exhausting. You're all over the country now, right? Promoting yes, this? Yes, yes. This is my last out-of-town city, in fact. Is last it? Last but not least. Oh, you'll have the best time here. <laughs> we have a whole 30 minutes. We have a television eternity to see what you're up to. <laughs> How did you get into this? Are you actually designing? Yes, I am. Um, well, Russ Toggs wanted more than just a name on the label. Uh, they, they really wanted me to to be involved with the clothing right from the very beginning, choosing the, uh, the materials to the designs and, and all of that, all the way up, um, which is one of the reasons that I decided to, to work with them. But you couldn't this. have done that if you hadn't had an art background. That's right. That, uh, they asked me to do it because they were aware that I had studied art at the University of California at Northridge and art extension classes at UCLA, as well as having studied in Paris at La Conchonnière. Oh. So that you know, gave me the ability to be able to, to translate, if I got a, an idea for, say, a jacket like this, one that I'm wearing, to be able to sketch it out and take it to the other designers that I, I work together with on the clothing line. You know, I, you have real feelings about what a woman should be able to have in her closet. You have feelings about minimizing the stress of dressing. Right, absolutely. I, I feel that, that women today don't, I mean, I don't know if they ever did, actually, but... Um, what? Uh, what? I can't the, wait. <laughs> they don't have the time to spend two hours in their closet. No, you're right. You know, pulling on something going, ah, this doesn't go with that, and mm -hmm. this doesn't go with this. Um, I know for years I was one of those people that, that had great shirts but no pants to go with it, you know. So with my clothing line, you can just go in blindfold and take three items and have a great outfit. Unless you happen to take three jackets, you, know, <laughs> you might have a breezy outfit. I have to tell you, I really love what you have on your feet. <laughs> you know, in New York, the women are so smart because they put on sneakers with their suits, right? And that's how they dash that's to true. work. That's true. That's a real American yeah. kind of thing, I think. But you know, you have such a... I hope this doesn't offend you. I wouldn't think it would. But I, you, are, you are a California girl. I mean, you, and such a clean look. Oh, is that thanks. something you, I take it as a compliment. Well, yeah, you work at that, or is it just what you grew up with? I just, uh, you know, I mean, the, the California thing, I, you know, I was just born with the blonde hair, which gives that impression. And also, I think, because I love sports so much, you know, then, that, uh, you know, I, I kind of have that outdoor image. And the outdoor look. Right. It's so great. Um, the swimwear. Now, you were on the cover of Sports Illustrated three times, right? Right. All, all those times in, a, in a, a swimsuit. Right. You are something in a swimsuit. Is it Scavulo <laughs> who says that you have the greatest body to photograph? Oh, I, I'm, thanks, Francesca. <laughs> yeah, that's why I read that he said that. I hadn't heard that. How does it feel to be photographed in a swimsuit? Because that's a, and we'll talk later about the modeling and the sessions and all of that, but it's, uh, is, is that all right? I mean, is that the toughest part? It is the most difficult thing. <laughs> when I first started modeling, um, I, I sort of more or less did it out of curiosity, right? And I thought, well, as long as I don't have to do a bathing suit, because there's no pockets in bathing suits. There's no place to put your hands. <laughs> and in fact, the first time I did a bathing suit was with Sports Illustrated. And I accepted the job because we were going to go stay it in the President of Mexico's private summer home in Cancun before Cancun was developed. And I mean, I just knew this place was going to be so gorgeous. So I thought, all right, I'll suffer in this bathing <laughs> oh, yeah, suit. Poor thing. <laughs> so I get there and put on this, this skimpy little number, right? And get out on the beach. And I was so nervous. I thought, oh no, how am I going to do this? So I started posing. It's like, where do I put my hands? And I'll put them in my hair. Oh, my hips are fat. I'll turn them away. No, I mustn't move that. That angle's no good. So I'm squirming around like this. And the editor goes, oh, she moves so fabulously well. <laughs> Being a little self-conscious didn't hurt. <laughs> and that's it. You know, Isn't it's that just, great? You know, my well, we have some women <laughs> right behind us that move fabulously, too. This is Christie's uh. sportswear li swimwear line. Well, that now, that's got to be flattering for a, for a figure because of the high cut. 
in the, in the leg, right? Right. The, um, this suit is, has the elongated you know, uh, line for the leg, um, as well as the belt at the waistline will accent the waistline. And it has, this one is a really athletic, sporty look with the, the, the back cut out like this. Uh, that is uh, the, one of the best looking tank kind of suits I think I've ever seen in my whole life. That is Looks great. great on her. She, sure should, she should buy it. <laughs> <laughs> now, the navy and red and white, that's your idea? Right, I, I love, well, I'm a sailor, and, oh, okay. um, and so I love anything that, you know, looks nautical. That's like my, my thing. Isn't that great? And um, this, this little cover-up, you know, can be worn with pants as well. We make easy pull-on pants that you can wear to the store. And we're really talking about affordable things here, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Um, and also, I just wanted to say that these, uh, the fabric that this is made out of, isn't it comfortable? It's some, it's some type of, um, like a t-shirt, but with the elastic in it, so you can really move, and it's just... And it goes with you, and yet it kind of, it, it holds you together, too, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> it does. Which it's we sort of, need. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, those look cute on there. Now, uh, one this, piece, these, you, that's really the look, right? The one piece Well, suit one now. piece is really a fashion statement, but we make two pieces and bikinis and uh, we try and, and make suits for, for every body shape. This suit is a particularly good one for swimming because it really, you know, yeah. will stay yeah. on. It, it won't move out of place. And this cover up. That's just like a, a sort of an oversized sweatshirt but out of a, a light interlock, you know, t-shirt fabric. That is great. Oh, look at this one. Mm. This is more sophisticated. I guess. Um, this is our signature suit that comes in every color under the sun. Isn't that <laughs> great? Now that's like, a, what is the fabric? That's a lycra. That is terrific. Uh, but again, figure flattering, because you, you cut the high look on the leg really makes the uh, figure look right. longer. You, and um, I, you know, I think that my legs could use a couple inches more. And so oh, for I me, don't know. I've always thought you must have <laughs> legs that are as tall as the Empire State Building. No. Huh? Um, yes, you do. <laughs> not, not really. You know, I just wear those high cut suits. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, now, this, this is, is a different, it's a different cut, right? Right. This one's cut a little bit lower on the, on the hip. Um, and then we have others that are lower still, um, but still in a fresh, young design. I, a, a lot of suits, for example, we actually do do bathing suits with some inner support as well. And normally when you get a suit that has that kind of support on the inside, it starts getting kind of a frumpy, matronly kind of look. But uh, we have really fresh, young styles. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. But, but they're good for any figure, right? right. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, isn't this great? This is, uh, this year, this summer, prints are going to be like the big thing. Um, primitive prints and flowery prints and stripes and mixing them all together, too. So, so now that, are we looking at pants over the suit? Right, you know, you can, you can layer things or unlayer things as you feel comfortable. Um, you can take this little shirt and put it with those pants and run to the supermarket. That is great. Or, um, you know, if you're like me, when I get up to walk across a swimming pool to get a drink or something, you I want like to, be to wrap covered? something around my hips. <laughs> I am like you then. So, um, oh, is this pretty? This is from our Memphis group. Memphis um, group? Why? That's uh, Monica named it. I'll have to ask her. <laughs> but, that is but great. But it's more architectural and, um, you know, the primary colors. I love the use of color. And the bright yellow. I mean, it's so yeah. cheery. Yes. Yeah. So great. Now, this. Is this uh, a, a, just a play thing? Yeah, this is uh, also, it can be worn, take one of the signature suits in bright colors and wear it without the without the t-shirt as a cover-up. Or with the t-shirt like this, depending on how relaxed your boss is, you could go to work like this or, you know, any place. Christy's all for a casual look at the office, but I, I read that. <laughs> I there was a quote from you, as long as you have a nice boss who likes to be casual too, right? Right. It's yeah. true. Another variation. This is great. This one has the little multicolored belt straps on it and uh, a different detail around the leg. Um, almost sort of like a little play suit yeah. finish. For or someone not comfortable with the high cut, this right. still gives a flattering look. Right. Oh, that is terrific. By the way, do you like the music we're hearing? 
Oh, you know, that Billy Joel, he's okay. He's all right. No. Yeah, it's okay. It's actually, it's all like we could find for today. So. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you at home who, <clears throat> I don't know if you know, but Billy Joel and Christy are getting married this right. month, aren't this you? This month. <laughs> you devil. Look at this. This and is another this is a skirt, skirt right? from our uh, primitive line. Super. Now, you had a hand in all of this, right? I mean, oh, yes. sketch padding, huh? Yes. <laughs> it must be so much fun to see something come to life after you put it on paper. It really is. It's, um, for me, it's been, it's been really thrilling because I've, I've been more involved than I've ever been in any fashion. I mean, normally I go and take it, you know, off the rack and, and wear it. And now to be wearing my own clothes and modeling, it's like I take a special pride in making sure that everything's just so, you know. Yeah, I, I noticed <laughs> Christy didn't sit down because this jacket was brown. I know. <laughs> she was walking around with it still hot. <laughs> oh, well, we're back. We're at Filene's with Christy Brinkley. If you just joined us, we, we just went through the swimwear line, and it's really lovely. And there are, uh, there's a whole sportswear line, and we'll go to that. But can we spend a little time and talk? Sure. You don't mind? No. I mean, you're a very private lady, and I respect that. But um, the modeling, did you ever think that when you were a kid that this would, that it, would excel, it would accelerate so much, and you'd be so, you are... Aren't you? I mean, you are one of the top three in the world, aren't you? Oh, Maybe the top one? Well, I never, no, I never imagined uh, that it would... I never imagined, number one, that I would be a model. Number two, that I would have this much success. And... Uh, How did it happen? Well, I, uh, I was studying art and working as an illustrator in Paris and did not have a working permit, therefore did not have much money because they only paid me when they felt like it. So I was liter literally walking down the street going, whoa is me, how am I gonna pay the rent? I have this little sick dog, what am I going to do? I like and you a lot bam, better knowing you went through that. <laughs> <laughs> I walked right into this photographer that uh, said, I've been looking for a girl like you, and of course I thought it was a line, but I checked out the guy's credentials and he was for real. And so, more or less out of curiosity, I thought, well, I'll do one job. So I went into a model agency in Paris to uh, meet a couple of photographers, and it was full of photographers that day, and one saying, I want to take her to a trip to Morocco. I want to take her to a trip here. I want to take her to a trip there. So, you know, I couldn't refuse. I loved to travel. And one thing led to another, and pretty soon, Glamour magazine heard about me, and they said, uh, called up Paris and, and said, come to America for three months. We'll put you on covers, we'll take you on a ski trip. And, and Sports Illustrated called at about the same time and said, and we'll take you to this place in Mexico where I had to, you know, work out my bathing suit act, you know. Do you suppose that the fact that it happened in Paris made you more attractive to your own country than if it had gone the other way? Well, I think what Paris did for me is that I, that, Having worked in Paris, I mean, it is crazy working in Paris, too. So they say if you, if you work as a model in Paris, you learn the trade because you get in there and uh, at 10 in the morning, right, they'd say the job will start at 10. So I'd be sitting there. About 12.30, the photographer would kind of come stumbling in. Oh, the makeup artist not here yet? Ah, well, let's go to have some lunch, right? <laughs> So you go, you have lunch, you know, you come back at about 1.30, 2 o'clock, and then they start the hair and makeup. And just the hair and makeup's done, they go, you look so fabulous, let's have dinner. So then you go have dinner, and finally you finish the job at 10.30 at night, which means you have to have, although it can be fun, you have to have a lot of patience. And stamina. And New York is much more professional. It is, except I know people think that it is, uh, it's all glamour. You just put on the suit, as you explained <laughs> in the first segment, you know, and, and there you go, you move. It isn't that way, though. Tell the Alaska story. Uh, uh, Alaska. Well, one day Vogue magazine said, we're going to go to Alaska and do a, you know, a whole fantastic layout. So, you know, I was all excited. Great, let's go. Well, we get there. And, um, of course, the day we arrive, so does the first big storm of the season with the, that freezing Alaska weather. And our whole, our whole job has to be done via helicopters. So we're taking these perilous flights on these bumpy helicopters landing on top of glaciers and and all of this thing and they pull out of the suitcase what else but a bathing suit and here I am at the edge of this giant glacier and they they build this little kayak there you know out of the back of the helicopter and they say all right Christy just pop into this kayak here and you know just take a little 
ride down there and be sure that you show the bathing suit and it's snowing and it's freezing and I'm doing these little kayak pedals right that I've never and your makeup how to is do freezing before. and I everything the makeup was freezing on the face in fact at one point between while they were reloading the photographer said you know took off his jacket and said zip her up into it right and they zip me up well they zip my neck right up into, <laughs> into the, the zipper, zipper. Well, I was so frozen I didn't feel it until you know somebody goes oh my god she's getting blood on the clothes <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. but it is fun isn't it bottom line oh it yeah is good. it is it's uh, I'm not complaining but a lot, a lot of, of work when you have to have a good strong work ethic or you can't do what Christy Brinkley <laughs> does look here we go this is just to tease you, to let you know what's coming up. We'll take a break and we'll come back and we'll show you all of Christy Brinkley Sportswear Line. Stay with us. That's right. We are back with Christy Brinkley and I want to say hi to all the people that are here in the store behind us. How are you? You can say hi, Mom. They're all watching. <laughs> uh, we promised you that we would show you Christie's sportswear line. Why don't we get right into that, and then we'll talk about some plans that are up and coming in Christie's life. You know, it, all of these are transitional, right? Right. We, <coughs> oh, excuse me. We um, do a lot of fabrics. All our fabrics are natural, and uh, we try and do fabrics that you don't, that don't say, this is winter only, time to move it to the other side of the closet. Because I also think women don't have time to be, you know, changing. I bet there are a lot of women cheering. I think we all would really like to be able to do that. I think we'd ultimately save a lot of money, too. It's true. So then this could, this would work in the fall, but this it would works. work now. And it, you know, this is my, my third week of traveling across the country, and I've gone back and forth and worn these clothes everywhere I've gone, whether it's been cold or warm. I just layer extra layers when it's cold and peel some off when it gets warm again. Are you the first or one of the first to, to uh, blend the linen so it doesn't wrinkle so badly? Uh, I'm not sure, but that I definitely love doing that because we, we get something that looks, you know, has that comfortable look of linen and breathes like linen, but you don't look like you slept in your clothes. Like you can last a whole day without right. carrying around an iron around with you. Those are terrific. They and really again, are. This, this shadow black group, it's another one where you can just pick up any piece and mix it together, oh, yeah. however. Now, is this, is your jacket, Christy, from this? From yes, this, yeah? is, this is the same group that they're wearing now. Um, this is called our pastel tints. Oh, terrific. Which okay. is really, you know, a, um, a fun line because, the, for example, the blue suit at the end is very man-tailored, but we do it in this beautiful light blue. Oh, it's terrific. And a beautiful light pink. And when you mix, say, that jacket with the skirt in the middle, you get a really fun play of masculine, feminine, um, or, you know, the suit with the, the big earring detail like that, you know, which makes it very feminine. You know, I think every single thing we've seen has been worn with heels that are flatter. Is, and right. obviously you like those. Well, I, I always say to Mitchell Gross, the talented designer that I'm working with, Mitchell, I can't wear it with my tennis shoes. I'm not interested, <laughs> you know? Because I like to be able to get out and run and, you know, uh, really move and keep up with my boyfriend, you know? <laughs> your boyfriend soon to be your husband. Isn't that great? Just gorgeous colors. And you've got a lot of colors in this collection, a lot of pastels, right? Right. Pastels are big this year. Um, I think it's, it's kind of a reaction to having seen so much menswear. Um, it's one of the ways to soften menswear and you know, make it more, more feminine, desirable huh? for this season, you know, That's and great. just light and pretty. That is great. Well, thank you, ladies. Beautiful. And the fashions are here at Filene's, and they are very affordable. Okay, yes. I, I won't try, I'll try not to get too personal, but this fellow that's singing, uh -huh. <laughs> you're about to marry Billy Joel, right? Right. <laughs> you're getting married this month? Yes. You're not going to tell the date? No, we're trying, well, see, we're trying to keep it uh, a real private small wedding for just you know our really close friends and family so we're trying to keep the date a secret you know so that we don't have the press but it's a matter of weeks isn't it for you you'll be yeah. a Sadie Sadie married lady yeah. are you excited well this is such I'm a very dumb question excited. Of course you're yeah. excited. <laughs> you are, are children in your future do you think oh definitely yeah? yes I love children so you plan on that whole full full scheme of things oh, right yes where are you going on your honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> That's also a secret. <laughs> it's you know, a country? Like with the two of us, it's kind of like double jeopardy. You know, if we go out and it's the two together, it's either, well, I, I really love him, or I love her, or I love them both, or, you know, it's, so it's, um, it's kind it of hard to have a private It must be the downside of this, huh? Well, 
it, it's the difficult side of it, you know, to try and still maintain a real private life, you know, which is really necessary because both of us uh, lead a life that's so much in the public eye, and um, and so to try and just get time together where there's not, you know, somebody yelling, "Hey, Billy Huntington," you know, <laughs> whatever. Did you it's fall in love before Uptown Girl? during or after because when Billy put you in that music video right <laughs> right um, well the thing about Uptown Girl that's that's kind of funny is that everybody assumes that Uptown Girl is me but um, it wasn't Billy that asked me to do it it was the makers of the video John Small Productions that said um, but Christy's like the perfect Uptown Girl um, and so let's have her do it but that song was written before I, I ever met him did you meet then during that? Uh, no, Thank you, no, we had met Got something before for you. That. Thanks, kiddo. Oh, what's this? You'd met before that? Yeah, we had met before. So you're really in love, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, you don't get this unless you're really in love. <laughs> <laughs> this is a present from the Good Day staff. Just a little something for oh, you and sweet. Billy. Okay. Uh, you can take that on your. Oh. Take that with nice. you on your honeymoon. Should we show? Uh, oh, it's beautiful. Perrier yeah. Jouet. This is and the champagne. glasses. And the glasses, cheers. too. Yeah, cheers. So do that. Use lovely, those, all right? We'd love to know you. that you join us. That's really You're sweet. You're a very lovely person. You are really a nice lady. Well, thank you. you Pleasure and your, to meet you. And your, your whole show, too.